Clark Parker, I feel like is one of my children. And as I began teaching and coaching and education, golly, 40 years ago. A long time, sir. He he is one of the children that was special at the Dana High School. And he, and he grew up knowing what it means to work for a living, work hard for a living. He had a family who had wonderful value, family values. And as a coach, coach I came to know Clark, and he would, never, he would not give up for no reason at all. He first started off being my manager. He, he, would, he, would, he would drive the track mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, level the field off every day. And he was, he, once you needed it, he was, he was standing there with it. He just could almost read my mind. I thought he could read, he was reading my mind. But Clark went out for baseball, and I, I did, a, did something I, 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 I regret the rest of my life. I cut him. He would not quit. He would not give up. He, my wife built, took three uniforms, sewed them together, made them a uniform. We put him back on the team. He was he he never gave up, and that's the, that's the way he's always lived his life. He, he is he is not a quitter. He comes from he comes to uh, this, being uh, being a candidate for the Congress from the standpoint that he the young people of his his should be assuming leadership roles. And thank goodness, Clark, I know you'll be taking care of me one of these days. Glad you, know, sir. That's one of the special things about me raising so many children as a school principal, is seeing to be productive citizens and to come back to be willing to take care and serve our country and serve, our, serve the people that raised him. Thank you for that, Clark. Thank you, I wish you the best. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Kerry. Come back.